Hello, Facebook fans and YouTube fans of DX Engineering. It's Tuesday afternoon here in the Eastern Time Zone of the USA, 1715 Zulu on October 11th, 2022. Welcome to Tuesdays with Tim and Jeff. And uh, we could, Jeff, we've been doing this for what, uh, four years, five years, something like that now? Something like that. It's been a long time. It, it's been a long running series. And you never know what we're going to talk about. Nope. Um, but one of the things we do want to talk about, Jeff, what do you think of 10 meters? Man, 10 meters has been wide open. I I, I need to get on there. I've been listening. But uh, 10 meters this weekend and even today has been wide open. And the great thing about when 10 meters is open, and one of the reasons that it's open is because the solar flux is about 160 right now, which is great. So we are into the new sunspot cycle, yes, and we are having some fun. You don't have to have a big antenna. You don't have to have a lot of power, and you can work all kinds of stations. Yes. So, you know, that butternut vertical that you have, boy, that, that'll, be a, that'll be a great antenna for working all over the place. And, you know, Jeff, um, I know you get questions about you know, antennas all the time, because the, the single most important part of an amateur radio station is the antenna, when you think yeah, about it. It is, absolutely. And we've had a lot of calls recently about the, the Butternut, the, the uh, Hustler 6B TV and things, other ground radio or uh, ground mounted uh, antennas. And the question is all the same. Do I need ground radials? How you many know, ground radios do I need? Do I need them cut for certain lengths? Help me out. What do I need? Right, right. So let's give some guidelines and then also some resources that uh, folks can follow up on. And so, yes, a ground-mounted vertical does need radials to perform uh, its best. It needs radials. And a good rule of thumb is at least 30 radials on the lowest frequency you're going to use. So if the lowest frequency you are going to use on your vertical antenna is 80 meters, that means a quarter wavelength on 80 meters, which is about 70 feet, is a good rule of thumb. 30 radials, 70 feet long. They don't have to be buried. I've never buried a radial, Jeff. Right. I've always, you know, and you, you know, how to, yep. you've done this too. You cut the grass real short. Cut it short, set them down, put some yard staples on top of them and let the grass grow. Now they're gone. They disappear. They're gone. And uh, so that's the easiest way. And uh, you're not catching them with the lawnmower, are you, Jeff? Not anymore. Now that it's been there about uh, four years and there for a while when the ground would get soft, I'd pop them up, but not anymore. They're, they're pretty well hid. Right. So, I mean, that's, that's a good way to go. Look, Let's uh, let's take a look at one of, you know, th there's a lot of gems on the uh, on the DX Engineering website, and uh, one of those gems is the Hustler Super Installation Guide. Yeah. And I know you're you're very familiar with this. Uh, let me know when you see my screen, Jeff. Yep, it's up. Okay, so um, you see here, Jeff, we got the DX Engineering instruction manuals and uh this manual which hopefully you're seeing the manual now yeah okay so let's take a look this manual is meant for the hustler series of verticals but the a lot of the information in here can uh, be used on any vertical because mm -hmm. uh you know and the, this is a free manual you can download it it's 64 pages long but boy, does it go into detail. And I know you've used this as a troubleshooting guide for a lot of customers. Yes. And uh, it, what I try to tell these customers, if you follow this manual, you're going to be good as gold with that antenna. Right. And like I said, even if you're not doing a hustler vertical, it really does help because it, it shows you how to do the installation of a vertical properly. And yep. here, are some, here are some photos, Jeff you know, uh, the concrete for the vertical, and then the radial wires are installed using the DX engineering radial plate and uh, shows you how to dig the hole, how deep to dig it, 
And uh, here's the tilt over mount on the uh, uh, Hustler vertical as well. Here's here's a great photo, Jeff, of uh, two photos of radial yeah. wires. And, and it steps through. It says just cut the grass short. And, uh, you know, I think the DX engineering radial plate, I mean, Jeff, that you, you got to get one of those because that just makes it a snap. Yep. I noticed on our field day we had a couple of those. And, boy, those were gone really quick. Yeah. And I, this is uh, really uh, a great way to go. And uh, so you've got all the information about radial wires is here in this manual. And you can either just look at the, uh, at the manual or you can download it yep. and print it. Uh, but it's always here. And, you know, from time to time, Jeff, it's updated too. As, as we learn new things, we update mm -hmm. these manuals. Yeah. So, um, you know, when you're, when you're thinking about installing or, improving your vertical, uh, just go on to the Hustler area in the DX Engineering website, and you should be good to go there. Um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about today, too, is the, um, I've been working on some projects here, Jeff, and uh, very handy device. This is the LCraft XG3 RF signal generator. I don't think and, I've seen one of those. Yeah, it's pretty inexpensive. And boy, does this thing come in handy. You know, I'm working on 160 meters right now. So if I turn it on, I've got zero dBm on 160. And so this, this thing is really good. The XG3, what it does is it generates a signal. So I can put it at the end of a feed line. I, I, um, what I'm doing now with the XG3 is I'm actually using it as a transmitter onto a 160 meter mobile antenna. And then I'm listening on my 160 meter arrays to make sure that they're working properly. And wow. uh, this is a great way to check the front end of a receiver too, because okay, yeah, yeah, there's a setting here, Jeff, minus 73 dBm, and that is S9. That should be S9 on a receiver. So you just you don't want to ever transmit into this guy, right? But uh, you know, that, that makes it just really easy to test receivers, uh, feed lines, switches. Um, all those things can be tested with the XG3. And, and let me know when you see the website up here. Uh, it, it's a really a bargain at $300. Yep, there it is. Yeah, so there's the XG3. It comes with a, a programming cable, too. Um, runs on a 9-volt battery, so it's very portable and uh, just, just beautiful. And, of course, there's documentation. And uh, it's got two reviews, excellent, economical, excellent product, the LCraft XG3. And uh, so I've been working on the uh, uh, high Z antenna. Do you see the uh, high Z antennas? Yep, I see it now. Okay, so this is the uh, phasing controller uh, from high Z. Of course, uh, we just recently acquired the company Mm -hmm. And uh, this this is a great box. It actually uh, allows you to select eight different directions, and you get this directional pattern, Jeff. And so th this rejects the noise back here, and so you can electronically rotate this around uh, in 45 degree increments. And it's oh, wow. really, really, really cool and great for 160 and 80 meters. And here's uh, 23 foot verticals. And, and of course we, we sell that as the AL 24. Mm -hmm. So real short verticals, real easy install, no radials. This, these receive verticals just require a ground rod. And, uh, so real easy to install. Here's the layout of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight verticals in a circle. And the diameter is 113 feet. So it's not too bad, less than an acre, Jeff. And uh, so uh, really, uh, but, uh, you know, every year you got to check your antennas. Yeah. And so that, that's what I'm doing. You know, you, go. uh, you, you got to You got you just can't assume that they're going to work the same year after year. And I know, Jeff, you've had trouble uh, from time to time running over the coax and things. Right? <laughs> You're going to keep reminding me of that, aren't you? With the yard irrigator. Well, yeah, and some deer problems. 
right the deer problems and uh, i just want you to keep checking it yeah so i do because you know, when you get on the air i want you to get on the air and have some fun yeah and uh, let's see who we've got in the chat room today um from brazil it's papa uniform one mike papa juliet manuel is on and oscar zulu one delta whiskey x-ray from denmark is on germany six juliet mike x-ray is on from england and uh uncle gunter is on good evening from germany just walked in the door from a portable dx at the yacht harbor and ira is on uh from anguilla victor papa to echo india hotel he's using his dxe r8 on 10 meters right now and the bands are booming um and then uh, adrian says most radials is possible that's true uh yeah. 30s good 60s a, a little better um it probably you're running out you know uh running out of uh, performance when you get much above 60. i've got 120 radials because that's what uh some guys back in the 30s said was the optimum number but i think right. we've learned a little bit since then and maybe you don't have to have uh, as many radials as we once thought and uh let's see we've got uh, w3mlj mike was on and uh thanks jeff for the help at the sale day any so day I, anytime yeah it, uh, young michael is uh, gonna do great things he is he's, uh, you know he's gonna finish high school here and of course last friday jeff uh we had a really good show on with uh javen wa ua i hear him on the air on saturdays doing one of the local nets yes he he is uh net control he is a freshman at akron university yep and uh in computer science i think he's going to be a uh, just a, a great ham i'm going to have to have him uh look into the uh, acronauts the uh, akron uh university rocket design team that my daughter was on he had to look into that yeah you know he's he, He's got a lot going on because he's working yep. as an intern. You know, he's going to school. He's got he's amazing. Radio. <laughs> uh, our good friend John Stanford is on. Greetings from Island Amplifier. And uh, he's going to be attending Pacificon this weekend. And, of course, John is, uh, is one of our gurus on amplifier repair, Jeff. Yeah. When it comes to uh, solid state tube, I mean... Uh, John is really, really good with this stuff. Uh, Bob the Traveler, that's WD8NVN, back from a big road trip, and he missed the DXE sale day. Well, Bob, uh, we'll have something next year. We're not sure when. We might have one sale day, might have two. Um, Jeff, how about those radios? The prices were just incredible. I, I brought home a couple of them, so, yeah, they were really good. <laughs> The Yesu FTDX10. Those were now, gone. At, I, at open box. Yeah. Yes. So the box had been open. So you, we couldn't sell them as brand new. Right. But we sold them as open box. You look in the box and it looked, hey, this was never used. They were $1,000. How much yeah. money are you saving? I mean, you're saving oh. a lot. And those were, I think those were the first radios we sold out of. <laughs> it was incredible. And then the FT101s. Yep. Uh, they went fast, too. And we've got Mario on. Excellent program today. Thanks. He is in the Falkland Islands. Yep. Victor Papa 8 Alpha. And Mario, we hope to hear you on the air. Would be great. Uh, that's that's You don't hear the Falklands every day. No. Uh, Jeff. So, um, and, of course, they are coming into their spring now. And it, it'll be summer down there. But... Uh, long way away and uh, mario thanks very much for watching today well jeff i know it's time for lunch yeah. and uh it's time for me to think about antennas and also think about the email monster so there I'm you go take care of business and uh we're going to be back on on thursday we've got a manufacturer on for the manufacturer showcase and then friday it'll be the weekend special and i'm trying to cook up something really good for good. the weekend special but in between now and then, everyone, just get on the air. Get on the air, have some fun, make some new friends, work some new countries, enjoy 10 meters. We've been waiting for this, Jeff. Yes, we have.
<laughs> it seems like forever. So sunspots are finally here. So let's get on the air and have some fun. Until Thursday, 73 from DX Engineering.